Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Brain Logic. Really interesting challenge today. We have 40 minus 30 divided by 2 minus 1. This is look like a regular expression. We don't have like any complicated expression with square root. We have like a really great challenge today. So right now let's check our skills. Let's check our answers in the end of the video. So pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. We have three options A, B and C. So choose one option. What do you think is a correct and write your option down into the comment section. This is very tricky challenge and a lot of students do this mistake. Okay, so right now let's try to solve it. So in the world there are a lot of students and first type of students solve this question like that. So right here, here's our looks like for our first interpretation. So we have 40 minus 30 divided by 2 and minus 1. So here's our challenge. And a lot of students solve this question like that. They say, okay, let's go from the left to right. Right here we have 40 minus 30 which is equal to 10. Yeah, 10. We have this expression. We still have this division by 2 and minus 1. So right now let's go once more from the left to right. We have 10 divided by 2 equal to 5 and we have 5 with this minus 1 equal to equal to 4. So a lot of students solve this question like that. They say correct answer is option A and they go to the next to the next question. But I wanted to say that in mass we should know what is the correct order to do this problem. So we can't solve this question randomly. It is really bad mistake in terms of mass. We should know what is the correct order to do this problem. Because right here obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. Because we should understand what we should do at first. Subtract, divide, right here we have subtraction. So can see we have a lot of combination and right now we should know what is the correct order to do this problem. So right now let's forget about this first interpretation. I'll go to the, I'll go back to this interpretation in a few minutes. Yeah. Okay. So right here we have second interpretation. Okay. And right now let's solve this question according to this PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific, graphing calculator works according to this PMDMC. So this is the most popular order of operation in the world. It works from the top to the bottom, so in a strict order from the top to the bottom right here, the highest priority parentheses, the lowest priority addition and subtraction. So right now, right now let's rewrite this challenge. So we have, we have 40 minus 30 divided by 2 and minus 1. And right now let's scan what elements do we have in our question. Okay, let's do this. So the first step is parenthesis. So parenthesis has the highest priority, so we should evaluate the expression inside parenthesis. In our case, we don't have any parenthesis, so we just skip this part. We don't have any parenthesis. What about exponents? Maybe cubes, squares, maybe tenths power, fifths power. We don't have any of those. So like we have like a regular values without any power. So it's really great. We don't have any squares. It, it, it's really good. Okay, right here we skip this exponent part. Okay, let's go to the next step, multiplication and division group. So right now we should scan where do we have this multiplication and division part. Let's look at it, let's scan, right here we have subtraction, right here subtraction, but we have this division in the middle and it's really important step because we apply this division sign only to these two values, to 30 and to this Two. And we reject this multiplication and we find this division sign. As I told before, we find this division sign in the middle. So this is our first step to evaluate the expression right here. So 30 divided by 2. And as you can see, we have a lot of differences with this first approach. Because this first approach is absolutely randomly approached, but according to a correct order of operation, we just solve this question absolutely correctly because right now we have 40 minus 30 divided by 2 equal to 15. Yeah, 15. And we have minus minus one. So right now we go to the last step. This is like a final step. So in conclusion, we have addition and addition, addition and subtraction. Let's scan. Okay, we have only subtraction sign. So we just skip this addition part and we have only subtraction part right now. And of course, of course obviously we don't need this uh, PMDMC right now because this is like a regular expression. We This is like a regular subtraction right here. So we can easily subtract it. 40 minus 50 minus one equal to equal to 24. And really interesting moment because we don't have this option right here. We don't have this 24. And and then a lot of students go back to this answer A, which is, I want to say right now, that which is absolutely wrong solution because we solve it according to like randomly approach. This is not like an approach. We just, solve, we just solve this question wherever we want. We just go from left to right. We just complete this. We evaluate this expression with uh, subtraction, then division, then subtraction. This is very bad mistake in terms of math. So forget about this option A. This is really bad, bad solution. I hope you don't choose this option A, which is, which is really bad. But with one really interesting moment, I want to show you this uh, solution because a lot of students solve this question like that but right now I want to show you the differences with this solution and with this one.
because right now we have parentheses and then parentheses is our first step so then we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses so then you should subtract it first then correct first step we subtract this 40 minus 30 then divided by 2 at first and then 4 so with parentheses 4 is a correct answer this is a very important moment i hope you understand this with parentheses this question is okay without parentheses correct answer is 24 because we solve this question according to a correct order of operation in our case this is pin dmc order of operation and this is a very tricky moment because we don't have this option and for those who don't know about uh, what is the correct letter a b and c let's look closely to this four factorial because four factorial you should know from school that this is a product from one times two times three and times four and it looks like the same 24 because one times two times three we have six six times four we have 24. So a correct answer according to this test, it is option. Option C is a correct answer. So we hope your answer is the same as mine, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. On the other hand, if you made this error, I'm happy you made this because you won't make this error again. You'll be like, okay, now I get it. So let's go and apply the order of operation. Here is our question. Here is our order of operation. Here is our option. And you'll go at this bet uh, You'll get better at this through practice. If you don't trust me, you can easily check this question in your scientific or graphing calculator, but don't use your regular calculator because you know some calculators will use problems as you type it in so for example you plug in this question in the beginning 40 minus 30 and then sometimes calculators gives you 10 instantly because they don't know that you have a division further okay this is a very important moment so try to use something sophisticated like scientific or graphing calculator where you can plug in the whole problem and you will have like okay and then your calculator is smart enough to know the order of operation then a calculator divided first then subtract from left from left to right so we hope you understand my explanation but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong if you need help with any of these classes i have a ton of videos i have a ton of videos with basic math pre-algebra concept so with that being said i definitely wish you all the best and see you in the next videos